What's up guys, Bryce here, and we're back at it again with another video. Today, I'll be doing a hot lap guide of Suzuka. So this track is a really iconic track and is definitely one of my favorite tracks on the calendar. It's super fast and I think the flow of the track is just really great. So this track consists of 18 corners and one DRS zone and it's just a, a really fun track in my opinion. Really the key here is to keep up the minimum speed. So let's get into it. So DRS open as early as you can for the main straight. Heading down to turn one and two, braking as late as you possibly can and trying to keep up the speed, trying to make the exit as smooth as you can, going to the right for the S's. So going through the S's, you wanna keep it as tight as possible, keeping up the minimum speed and just keeping the car under control. Um, you don't wanna uh, go on the curbs too much, but you still wanna uh, clip them and going up turn seven you can get some oversteer here if you're really pushing the car to the limits turn eight and nine my favorite corners super fast and um trying to keep the car under control and trying to get as good an exit as you can without wheel spin for this hairpin breaking super late uh late turn in and trying to get a really good exit it is super easy to get oversteer here because it's not flat uh there's a bit of angle in on the on the inside of it Turns 13 and 14, braking as late as you can. Five, gear five, going down to four, keeping it as tight as you can, and opening up the car for the long straight. And then this will pretty much lead us on to sector three. And then coming up here, we have a flat out left hander, which is turned 15. Coming up to the hairpin, using as much curb as you can, braking as late as you can, and trying to get as smooth an exit as you can. Try to go over this bump really smoothly. So now for a more in-depth guide. So getting a really good exit from the hairpin, DRS as early as you can, going down to turns one and two. For turn one, you wanna brake as late as you possibly can. I usually brake one, the curb on the right uh, ends, and you wanna keep it really tight in here, middle of the track, and then open the car up. And now for the S's, which is three, four, five, and six, so three, super tight four tight again middle of the track four five and then for turn six you don't want to go to the middle you really want to stay to the right as much as you can because this opens up to turn seven which is flat out and you can get oversteer avoid the curbs on the right because that can really uh give you a lot of oversteer taking a lot of curb on eight and nine of course and trying to get as clean and smooth an exit as you possibly can going down to the hairpin breaking right after the curb on the right finishes Second gear, first gear if you need to get a bit more turn in, late apex and trying to be as smooth as you can on throttle, short shifting and staying to the right to minimize the distance of this uh, straight. It's pretty much a straight and now coming down to turns 13 and 14, braking right after the 50, keeping the car under control, going to the outside and then bringing it back around gear four and opening the car up for the back straight. flat out through this corner and now for the chicane it's very difficult where to break but i usually break in the middle of the 51 and the 100 keeping the car straight when you break and then turn in as much apex as you can and short shifting trying to get a really smooth exit and uh, try to avoid that bump on the exit it's pretty hard but definitely pretty annoying but um that is a track guide of suzuka this is definitely one of my favorite tracks. It is a uh, very fun and definitely an enjoyable track, a lot more enjoyable than a lot of the other tracks when you're just trying to go as fast as you can. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Here's the setup, and if you did, leave a like down below, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.